So you, you've, uh, I saw on, on there that you have like, or you've tried riding many different motorcycles, like a I bunch have, yes. of different motorcycles. And you're also short. That's how I found you. Cause I was mm -hmm. also looking at like, it was a while ago. So I don't know if people understand that I, I shared one of your videos a long time ago, um, on my channel and, and we've kind of, uh, talked back and forth for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, but the main thing was to find like clothes for my wife, like sh you're mm -hmm. short, she's short. I was like, what kind of pants are out there? Um, mm -hmm. so with your motorcycle stuff, like what have you f like generally found out for a shorter woman I'm, I'm, or a shorter mm -hmm. person to be quite honest, mm -hmm. like with gear and riding? Yeah. And all that. Yeah. Cause I'm, I'm sure there's somebody out there listening right now. It's like, man, I, I'm not going to wear <laughs> gear because I can't find any that fits me. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, um, you know, it, it was definitely, it took more time, I think, to find something than if I had been like five ten or mm -hmm. six one and a guy um but it, it's available yeah. like I, I was eventually able to find pants um that fit uh they're still really long i just fold them up okay. in, in my boots um, that works yeah <laughs> and so it wasn't impossible but there there it just took a while to find some things um and then like the I, I had to lower my bike so so that's so that's something that was i'm like dang it yeah um and, uh, and then it, I, some bikes are just too tall for me. Like I, I'm not comfortable tiptoeing bikes mm -hmm. yet. Um, like, well, one of my girlfriends, she is, she's even shorter than me. She's five one and I'm five four. Um, and she has, she's the one who introduced me to the Triumph to triple R. She's uh, Kate okay. uh, street fighter ATL on Instagram and YouTube. Okay. Um, so she originally had her bike lowered too, and then totaled her bike, got another street triple R and just left it at stock height and said, I'm just going to try to get used to it. And she said that she has, yeah. she's, she still has to tiptoe it. Um, but she's gotten used to tiptoeing that she's not like at risk of dropping it all the time. Mm -hmm. Like I am when I, whenever I'm tiptoeing a bike. Okay. Um, yeah. So I, I have to tiptoe my bike. So, I mean, Oh, you do? Yeah, the FTRs. How tall are you? Uh, I'm 5'6", so I'm not the tallest guy. But, uh, the yeah, that's not my dad's height. Yeah. Oh, okay, so then, then you know how tall I am. It's not that tall. <laughs> but uh, the FTR is pretty tall for, for somebody my height. Uh, Sportster, mm -hmm. I can flat foot easily. But, uh, yeah. yeah, the FTR yeah. is a little bit crazy. Oh, yeah. so was that hard at first, or have you gotten used to it? Uh, I, I knew going into it, it was going to be like that. I uh, rode the KLR 650, same seat height. And I remember having to tiptoe it. And I was like, you know what? If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And at the end of the day, you just, you know, you start moving. You don't need to put your foot down. The only time you have to put your yeah. foot down is stoplights. And then you learn how to do that. Mm -hmm. um, any any Ooh, ma that's, massive that's, issues for you uh, on, any, on any bikes? For being short? Yeah. Um, yeah, sometimes it's difficult to, uh, if I am like stationary, um, if I'm not on like a perfectly level ground, if I need to like back it up at a slight mm -hmm. incline or anything at a slight incline, that's when I can get really clumsy and drop my bike. Um, or I get like stuck. Like if I, I, like I try to back up into a space and it's, I don't even notice it. Mm -hmm. Like the incline is so subtle. You can't see it, but I can feel it. Yeah. And I'll, I'll need to ask someone to like help, help me push it back. <laughs> Um, I, although I noticed like when I went out, I went, uh, moto camping with a bunch of girls one, uh, a couple weekends. And, um, and I noticed that's like, a, that's like a, a thing having someone yeah. help you back up the, I, back up the bike. I never like, knew. I never knew that. I, is that, that's a thing to, yeah, at least with, with girl riders. Okay. It is. Yeah. They, they were just doing it for each other left and right. Like without anyone like saying, Hey, can someone help? It was just like right away. Another girl was there as a girl was trying to back oh, up and. Well, see that that's that's why I need to talk to you on on a podcast because like I I have no clue about some of that stuff. Um, the girl world. It, it's the girl world. Um, my wife, shoot, uh, she did Babes Right Out. Uh, not this mm. last year, but the year before oh. that. Um, oh, nice. Is is kind of like what you you did a you just said a camp out type thing. Is that was that just for fun, like just random, or was that like a le legit like event meetup thing? Um, it was actually, I'm glad you said that because I wanted to get tickets and they're, as of like two days ago, they were almost sold out. So I hope they're not sold out. Oh, wow. but it's called no man's land. Okay. And it's the, the concept is like babes ride out. So it's a bunch of girl riders going to go camping, uh, for like two weekends. And this, this year, um, it's going to be in North Carolina on tail of the dragon. Uh -huh. Um, but they, it's a lot smaller. They cap it at like 40 or 50 girls. Oh, wow. That's, that's a lot smaller than babes ride out. No wonder they're yeah, selling out yeah. quick. 
Yeah. yeah, it's very small. So um, they do that because I think they want they they say that they want uh, it to be possible to like talk to everybody. Yeah. Um, I mean, when I went, I, I I'm not that I'm I'm not so social that I can talk to everybody. I'll I'll stick with like three three yeah. girls. <laughs> I think I think they maybe at forty they they purpose yeah to uh to get you if you're gonna try to talk to three girls there's gonna be like the other thirty seven that are gonna grab you and be yeah. like no you're talking to me type thing. <laughs> how how does that go how does that go with the camping like do you like to moto camp a lot uh no <laughs> i i wish i did <laughs> uh just because i i watch like uh some adventure riders on youtube who do mm. with envy like um as a magpie flies is oh she one. does great stuff i love her uh, I uh art She's... her art's amazing oh yeah, yeah gorgeous art too yeah um so i i tried i if I, if I do more moto camping, it will probably be for just like events. Mm-hmm. Um, just, just cause I, I, I really like like a good night's sleep on a comfy bed and, yep. and no bugs and, and not being hot at night. It's and, hard to car that. camp, uh, on a motorcycle. Yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah, that weekend, um, was a lot of fun, but I slept terribly and it was, and I, and I stunk mm-hmm. so bad. We all stunk after that weekend. Uh, I, I mean, I couldn't shower for two days in the summer. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I, I had body wipes that were like scented with pomegranate, but still, still <laughs> I tried. I saw, uh, was that the weekend that, that your luggage fell down and got, yes. okay. So how did, yeah. explain that to everybody, what happened on that one? Oh, that was so Your sleeping bag got so, tore up, right? Yeah, yeah, it's gone. It's, it's melted, uh, fused together. So I just did kept it for a while just for like the sake of being able to look at it because I've never seen something like that before but then uh Marie Kondo taught me just get it, let it go so yeah. I threw it away um um so my plan was to do a bunch of research about proper motorcycle packing um but somehow I just I just got so busy that before I realized it it was like a few days before mm-hmm. and I like watched a couple of videos real fast and uh, I couldn't find anything that was like for my bike and also just like a bunch of random stuff. Like most things like online have like saddlebags and I was like, you know what? I'll, it'll be fine. I'll just wing it. Yeah. So that's why Okay. as soon as I got on the highway, it just, everything just like, vroom, Oh right yeah. That sucks. So, yeah. And I, and I could like feel my, I, I was, I thought it was actually something wrong with my bike at first. Cause all of a sudden my speed just like plummeted mm. and I was like, trying to accelerate and it was barely going I was like what is going on and I just like put my hand back to see and I realized my, nothing was there anymore so I pulled over and it was lodged in all so tight uh my boyfriend had to come and help me pull it out I had to hold my bike as he pulled it in the other direction because he when he started pulling it it was like rolling the bike uh, it was stuck wow hard. but uh once that was out it, i mean i was fine what one, one of the girls that was driving picked up my stuff and i was still able to ride my bike my bike was fine it just had a little melted plastic on it yeah some parts yeah um yeah it was it was okay that's well luckily uh, that didn't turn into something like bad yeah. like bad bad yeah I mean, yeah, that could have been bad. Melted stuff, and so is this the? Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to get you in trouble if it's not. Is this the same boyfriend that turned into your fiance? Yes. Hey, okay. <laughs> I was. I was like, if I have to, I'll, I'll cut that out. And I was like, I don't know. No, no well, worries. congratulations <laughs> once again. Uh, Thank you. On... No worries. I like to mess with them a lot. So sometimes if I say something he doesn't remember, I'm like, oh, sorry, different guy. Oh, it was a different guy. It was a different guy. Yeah, I... It's that's usually not the case. I'm just messing with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations.